Angela Prusa has dedicated herself to the cause of decriminalizing marijuana in Namibia, and her ongoing war has met some challenges. We caught up with her recently. So far, we've met quite a few challenges. Um, it seems that all our neighboring countries are moving forward in, in decriminalization, in legalization of cannabis and hemp, and we seem to be stuck um, in you know, a process of not even willing to look at the current evidence and research behind this plant. So I think one of our biggest challenges is actually engaging with the government and the relevant authorities that need to be educated on this plant. Um, so as we've seen, our Justice Minister Saki Shangala, who released a very bold statement last year at the end of 2019 as to why we could not legalize cannabis. Um, but now, currently, what we have seen also is the fact that he has had vested interests because he has acquired via his family members a license to grow cannabis um, in Lesotho. So therefore also, like, currently the government needs to take a different stand, I think, on this matter because um, particular personnel within the government should not be allowed to make such decisions because, you know, they are acting from their own bias or from, from their own, you know, like, vested interests that they have in this plant and in the process. Because if we also look at the statement that was released as to why this country cannot move forward with decriminalization or legalization, none of those statements released by the Justice Minister were based on either facts, research, or any kind of actually um, engaging with expertise on the, on the matter. I think Mr. Shangala just probably went on Google and uh, typed in some words into the search engine and from there on, you know, created a statement. So our current challenge is basically trying to get the relevant people within the government, you know, to actually sit down with us and engage with us. And I think, you know, this is like I'm challenging them to actually sit down with us and and discuss this topic because we are we're losing out currently in Namibia on a lot of potential. And we have been, you know, this is like, it's, it's an ongoing process that I myself have been involved with for over three years now. And still we are, we are just at the bottom scraping, trying to get emails out, trying to, to connect with the relevant people in the government, you know, with ministers, and none of them are actually willing to sit down and engage with us. So, that's, you know, we are still uh, at the beginning stages, you know, while countries all around us are legalizing, decriminalizing, you know, earning taxes, creating jobs, you know, like creating a, a space for themselves in the, in the global cannabis market. And Namibia seems to be currently fully and utterly asleep, comatosed. I'm planning to go and see the president after this and demand um, that he, he sees me because he promised also us activists that he would give us an opportunity to convince him as to why this plant needs to be legalized or at least de decriminalized to start with. And so far we have sent him letter after letter after letter. We have sent letters via our lawyers and we've had no response so far from from not the president's office, not the you know Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Environment, everyone has been you know literally ignoring our letters, and this is also what I mean within the government. You know, people are there is talk of licenses going on, and this is we know about these things. We have connections, so we hear about these things. We know about the licenses they acquire in other countries, so therefore I challenge the ministries and the president to sit down with us, you know. We have waited long enough now for this audience with them to convince them. So now is the time to hear us out and to discuss this.